Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to install the Jcash scanner. So after you receive an uh, email with a scanner, you can follow the steps. If you have a PC or a Mac, you can click to watch it, but if you already know how to do it, you can, or you can just follow these simple steps here. So it shows you go to file, click on open uh, data folder go to MQL4 indicators and then you paste it in there so we're about to go through the steps so depending on your browser when you hit download it will go to a specific place so I'm going to download this one you can download both of them so for this example I'm going to hit download and Google Chrome put it right there for me but it's actually located in my downloads folder so I'm going to go into my downloads and find it so right here so I can right click on it, I can copy it or cut it. So I'm just gonna cut it out. And then I'm gonna go into my MetaTrader. And you go to file, just like it's shown in the image. You go to folder and then uh, MQL4 and then you find indicators. So in here somewhere you can just, uh, just paste it and then you can see it here and you can close it out but at the moment you might not see if you go through the indicators you either can close MetaTrader and reopen it or you can just simply right click on any anything on the nav, uh, navigator and do uh, refresh so as it refresh you can is it will be in the alphabetical order so you go to find J and here it is so mm -hmm double click on it or drag it to uh, one of your charts since it's a scanner it don't matter what chart is on it will scan the whole market and you add the pairs as you want to it so by default uh, the notification will be off so as you can see alerts pop-ups false 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 so you got to send it to set it to true so if you want it sent to your cell phone you need to make it true. If you want it to pop up on your computer, you set it to true. If you have email, you have to set it to true. Uh, and then you hit OK. And now you will see the scanner on there. So if you want to add more pairs to it, again, you can click on here and click on indicator list. And then you will see the indicator running on your chart. You don't have to drag and drop that will have two two of them on there so just double click on it and it'll open it again and then add the pair that you want so uh, and also make sure it's all caps so I'm gonna do a u d u s d and then uh, you put comma if you're gonna add more but I, uh, on the last one you leave it like that and when you have finished adding all your pairs, just click OK. And click Close. And then you can see it's running on there. And then you wait till you get the notification set up. So if you don't have notifications set up, uh, this is a simple step how to set it up. You will go to Tools and click Option. And under uh, Community, Make sure you have your username and password to log in. So once that's, uh, you log in, you will be able to get the notification. But if you're not signing, you're not going to get it. But this is the tab that you need to go to, notification. And then you, put, you enable push notification. And you will find this on your phone. This number, this is specifically to my uh, phone, my meta uh, trader on my phone. So if you put this in there, it's not you're going to be sending me your notification. So you will go to your phone and then you go under settings and then you will see it right below. The number will be shown on there. Uh, if you have an iPhone, it will show up on uh, also in your settings and then you just copy it. And uh, I know Jeremy already put up a video on how to find it on your cell phone. So I'm not going to get into that part. but. Once you have the number in there, you can hit test and it should send you uh, a test. And I just got one on my phone from the test. 
So I'll hit it again so you guys can hear it. And it shows up again on my phone. All right, so once you have it that done, then you all set. So you add all your pairs and then uh, you have it scanning. So one more thing. So one minute and five minutes. So whichever one that you trade is the one that you need to use. So again, let's uh, go back to uh, the indicator and then whatever the time frame we don't want notification for, you turn it off. False. I don't want this. I don't want for a month. You don't trade on that. So false. If you want a day, hour, 15 minutes. So those have good time frames. So you just click OK. Close. And now you see you're not going to get notification on one minute. You're going to get on 15, 30, hour, uh, H4, and D1. Those are the ones you're going to get. And you're going to get on these pairs. And you can change the location also on there and the spacing so if you have a smaller screen again you can edit go back in there and then you'll find uh, the location let's see uh, the, wherever you want it to be and also if you want to change uh, the way it appear horizontal or vertical you click that close and it changed the way and then you got to do the spacing so let's try to do this spacing so it will show up properly so you got the values here. So the width is running together. So let's do about 80. And hit OK. Close. And then you can see it clearly. So if you have more pairs, remember you can always just drag and drag this up. If you have, if you want to scan all the pairs, you just put all of them up. And so this is how you will use the indicator. Uh, you have so many settings you really don't like the colors you can make changes to the colors so when it's uh, up this color means is go but you wait until it's turned completely green so now let's look into how Jeremy uh, uses it for a trade and his settings so we see he has uh, the levels for RSI 16 25 75 uh, 82 so to have a visual representation, you just put, we're just gonna put, uh, let's see, we're gonna find the RSI, double click, and we're gonna add the values. Mm -hmm. So he has uh, 82, and he has 75, and he has 25, and we're gonna add one more, he has 16 okay and then we're going to click okay so now we have the rsi showing so we can see on here we see euro usd and we on h uh, h1 so h1 is a cell uh, h1 right here is a cell for euro usd so we can check to make sure it's a cell and it's probably been a cell for a long time so it, it hit it came down it never it stayed in there it's still in the cell it never hit the line to change and it's been in between here and there so the signal still hasn't changed in h1 and it's still going so until the signal go up and come down either one of them then it was going to change to a buy but it has not it has been in between here for couple of days on H1 so it's still showing the sale the same thing apply for any other pairs so uh, the way it works is when the line crosses above here it could go for days so you're not gonna get any signal until it start coming down and it hit the line you get a signal ready to sell and if it hit it again ready to sell and you keep going down so the same for uh, for a buy so when the signal go all the way down and it hit this line you're gonna get notified and again you don't get notified since you have two of them then it's time to buy so you can buy here and also buy here so even if it doesn't go all the way down and it comes here and it could start going back up you'll get the signal to 
by the same way if it only touches one of these lines so each one that it crosses down it will be a cell each one of these it crosses up it will be a buy so basically this is how uh, Jeremy uses the RSI and that's how uh, you can use it but anyway you can change the values you want you say I don't want 82 I want it to be 80 or I want this to be 70 you can always change it and in the scanner you can do the same so you go to the scanner and just change the values so uh, buy level one buy level two you change it sell level one sell level two as you see here so sell buy levels and then you you change it and the program will run so uh, basically this is a detailed uh, tutorial on how to use this indi uh, indicator